Hi everyone, my name is Lillian Roman. I'm 22 years old and a lot of people have been asking me how I chose my surgeon for my total joint replacements of my TMJs and upper jaw surgery. When I first started this process back in August 2020, I was really nervous about picking the right surgeon because I knew that this surgery was not only going to completely change the functionality of my jaw, but my aesthetic too. When I was about 12 years old, I developed idiopathic condylar resorption, which ended up completely altering my face from this to somebody that I honestly didn't even recognize when I looked in the mirror. When I first started consulting with surgeons, I knew I wanted to get Dr. Sullivan's opinion in Oklahoma City because he's known as one of the best surgeons for this condition. So I mailed my CT scan and a couple other x-rays and set up a virtual appointment pretty quickly after that. I thought that traveling for a major surgery was going to be really difficult, but he was the only doctor that really gave me confidence that he knew how to fix this, and it ended up actually being really easy. After the initial virtual appointment, I only went to Oklahoma twice, once for a pre-op planning appointment and then for surgery six months later. In those months before surgery, I spent a long time mourning the face that I had before ICR. And Dr. Sullivan would always say to me, I don't want you to come out of this looking like someone you're not. I want you to look like the little girl that grew up. And needless to say, I don't think he could have done a better job. When choosing a jaw surgeon, it's extremely important to choose somebody that really focuses on the aesthetic outcome too. And in my opinion, Dr. Sullivan's aesthetic outcomes are unmatched. I'm currently nine months post-op and my functionality has also significantly changed for the better. At about three months post-op, I could eat basically whatever I wanted to and it felt so good to bite into a cheeseburger after having been on a liquid and soft food diet for a year pre-op. His range of motion goal for me was to open to about 40 millimeters, which is the equivalent of biting into a Big Mac and I've definitely surpassed that goal. I'm breathing better, I'm sleeping better, I don't grind my teeth at night anymore. So was the surgery easy? No. But would I do it again for the results that it gave me? Absolutely a million times yes.